Membership meeting in Harbor Creek. The members of UE Local 506 have authorized the executive board to call a strike if necessary. Saida Abbas was there. She spoke to the union boss to see what led to this decision. Saida? Dave, it was a busy morning for GE union workers as they rushed to get their vote and negotiations will continue over the weekend. This doesn't mean that they'll go to strike for sure, but it does give a power to the union to go on strike if need be. Members of UE506, around 1,700 hourly employees at WebTech, have voiced their opinion by casting a vote. This vote has decided to authorize a strike if necessary. WebTech uh, wants to come in and unilaterally change a lot of those things. It's not in our best interest to do that. So uh, just for the protections and the safeties alone, it is, uh, it's a major concern for the union. The current negotiations began between UE506 and WebTech on January 29th. WebTech released a statement saying it is disappointing the UE506 membership approved the strike authorization. We have been negotiating in good faith with the UE on proposed terms and conditions that will benefit the plant. Contract negotiations are set to be deadlocked. The UE says they're fighting for jobs in Erie. It's going to hurt the community. Our, our protections, our wages, the new wages. According to the union, this is the first time they have voted for a strike authorization in 50 years. It seems like these issues should have been resolved before the company came in here. That, that's what it seems like to me. The union says if an agreement is not reached by Monday, WebTech has indicated that UE506 members will become employees of WebTech under proposed initial terms and conditions. Senator Bernie Sanders tweeted about this meeting and how he, sta how he stands for UE506 and Americans everywhere. Back to you, Dave, in the studio. All right, Saida, thank you so much. Well, the